Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We're coming off of a great weekend, but there are some changes on the way for the week ahead. We'll get to that in just a bit. We'll start off, though, with our storm spotter classes. Of course, this week in Nebraska is Severe Weather Awareness Week. Now, we don't have much for severe weather in the forecast, but, hey, maybe some thunderstorms in the forecast is kind of getting us primed for that time of the year. Well, one class going on today, the Hastings National Weather Service. They'll be up in Sherman County at the Loop City Community Center starting at 6.30 this evening. So if you are in the area... We would encourage you to uh, get out and check out that class. We'll get some great information from the Hastings National Weather Service office. Now to our advisors. Actually, there's a red flag warning in effect for southwest Nebraska later today for that higher fire risk out there. Uh, the good news is, though, many of us won't have to deal with that. First off, winds aren't going to be overly strong for most of us, but... There is some moisture on the way. There's finally, after uh, such a dry stretch, finally some rain on the way. Now, today our chances are fairly limited. We'll see increasing clouds from the southwest. So if you live up in northern and eastern Nebraska, you may see a little more sunshine than everybody else. But eventually those clouds will win out. And again, that chance of some afternoon light shower activity. Then we start to get more moisture coming in from the south, a little more instability. So we could see some showers and isolated thunderstorms now still just kind of a smaller chance before midnight but better chances after midnight and if you're in northern kansas you that's probably the best chance you have of seeing some of those stronger storms uh, out there but again better chances of moisture after midnight especially for eastern and uh, southern parts of the viewing area i think for most of us the best chance of rain and still some isolated thunderstorms comes during the morning hours of tuesday morning not expecting much for severe weather that, by that point but i think the farther east you go the better chance of having of seeing higher moisture amounts to the west your chances are a little bit lower getting into the afternoon hour still some lingering possibility some showers not as much thunderstorm activity as instability starts to clear out it'll linger longest in the east we may actually see some sunshine return later in the day on tuesday and that will be important to our temperature forecast i think it'll end up being a little bit warmer to the west with more sunshine later on the, on in the day on your tuesday now to your uh, storm prediction center's outlook uh, your convective outlook for tonight and this is a new category. They've changed things up this year. There's now five categories instead of just the three that we've been using for years here. Marginal risk of severe weather. It's the lowest end, really. Uh, that covers northern Kansas. Basically, that means there's going to be a slight risk of some larger hail, maybe up to quarter size overnight tonight. So not looking at much for severe weather, but just something to keep in mind that there could be some hail with those storms. Then looking at our amounts of rainfall here coming in for tonight, or really tonight and tomorrow, looks like the highest holes again will focus to the east but it's hard to predict exact amounts of moisture so you can almost take these numbers with a grain of salt because if you get under a heavy th heavier thunderstorm you're going to pick up more moisture so it's not out of the question some folks pick up much more moisture than this maybe on the order of three quarters of an inch or an inch of moisture it's just that most of us will only see amounts around a quarter of an inch maybe to a half of an inch but again heavier thunderstorm sits over you you may pick up better moisture temps for today upper 50s lower 60s up north with that slight chance of afternoon showers again a slight chance of showers to the west lower to mid 60s with some late day sunshine a little bit more cloud cover around the tri city so upper 50s to around 60 with some afternoon showers possible a little bit warmer in northern kansas upper 50s lower 60s to the east with a late day shower possible especially southwest of that york to beatrice line tomorrow again to late tonight into tomorrow the better chances of showers and thunderstorms and picking up some moisture then a windier day on your wednesday and we start to cool it back we'll especially cool it back for thursday and friday although those numbers aren't set in stone some forecast models go even colder on friday but others don't go nearly as cold so i'm kind of playing the middle ground for now also i've kept out chances of moisture for now for thursday and friday it's not out of the question we see something move in best chances to the southwest especially thursday night where a little bit of snow could mix in with some rain so something to watch for then heading into the weekend it does look like we'll start to warm it back up to nicer conditions saturday and sunday with 60s and hey maybe even some 70s on the way especially towards sunday so again a little bit of an up and down there over the next seven days but hey at least we're talking about moisture back in the forecast that's probably the best part of all about the seven day forecast ahead of us so there is your forecast for today until next time i'm meteorologist travis klineski hope you have a great monday